All right, we will get started soon. Um, please put on your cameras since you're supposed to have those on for our live lessons. And um, this won't be a very long live lesson, but hopefully enjoyable. Now, if you've already finished your 2.10 exam, you, do, you are not required to be here unless you want to. So just uh, letting you know. We'll be starting at about seven minutes. All right, six more minutes. Now, if you have a DBA or assignment still due, um, they must be done today. And if you haven't scheduled a DBA and need to do one, then make that appointment with me for today. Um, your midterm has to be taken no later then the 15th, which is Thursday next week. It's not the last day of school. It's Thursday the 15th. You can definitely take it earlier. And um, but you know, the day of the 16th is a day when I'm issuing your grades in the system. So you should be 100% done by the 16th, including your midterms should be over. Any student not done by the 16th runs the risk of failing the semester. Okay, so five more minutes. I'm hoping we get a few more people because there's a few more people still active in the semester. My cat might be joining us, depends. She might be taking a nap. Been extremely hyper lately. Does anyone want what on it? Good. I thought you locked her outside of the um no, the it's room. Hot. It's too hot. I don't have an AC in this room, so um, I just have the door open. So <laughs> and see blowing in a little bit. Yeah, normally I will lock her out, but yeah. <laughs> Too hot. I, I feel your pain, but over here it's the opposite. I'm cold while everybody else is over there hot. I'm just like, hello. Oh, yeah. Well, it, it, I know. We're, and we're supposed to get a few cooler days, I think the end of next week, maybe. And uh, that week before Christmas, but I don't think it's going to last. Yeah, because people that live in Florida, they might get one or two cold days out of the year, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So we've got four minutes till we have to start. Anybody want to tell me what you're doing over the break? Are you going anywhere? Are you just playing video games? What are your plans for vacation? My grandma uh, came uh, to Florida as a visit, and my brother is coming to Florida uh, on uh, Sunday. That's exciting. Exciting. I used to love it when my grandmother would visit. 
What about you, Xavier? Are you doing anything over the vacation? Just kind of normal. Just what? Can I have a normal Christmas? Normal Christmas. Are you going to do anything? Do you, does your family have any traditions or anything that you do? No? Well, we, my I think I told you guys this last week, but my husband and I are going on a cruise. We're leaving on, the cruise leaves on the 19th and we'll be back on the 22nd. So we're just going for a few days, but that's something we've wanted to do for many years, just the two of us for our anniversary. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm jealous right now. I've never been on a boat and I'd probably puke or something. Well, they have these things called, um, seasick patches and you put one um behind your ear and one above your navel and they they really do work and then when we we went on our first cruise back in march and it is a bigger group and the steward said to eat an apple in the morning because that helps fight seasickness he said it's like an old uh, seafaring trick uh, mm. but yeah i was worried about it too because um when I was younger, my mom had a boyfriend that had a sailboat and we'd go out on the sailboat and it was great fun until the seasickness hit me. And then I, I just, you know, they told me my color would go whoo, and then I was green, you know, and I, I was very sick, but I can handle little boats, you know, um, but a big sailboat, like, I mean, well, that wasn't a big sailboat, but it was, you know, we got the storms and everything in that thing. Mm -hmm. uh yeah i probably would have did the same thing get me off of this yeah. thing yeah yeah dramamine doesn't help at all for me uh with the seasick patches they actually work really well it was kind of tough that first morning when you wake up because the boat's in deep water and it's cruising along and just trying to take a shower you're trying to stay in the shower and not you know fall out and they're walking down the hallway, everybody's going, hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> they call it, you got to get your sea legs, which I don't think I ever got. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And, but we're just going to the Bahamas, to Nassau. And I'm, I'd like to go up and see some of the historical stuff. We're going to go on a little Jeep tour, see some things that way. And then we'll have some time to walk around and do hopefully some of the historic areas down here. I think my dad's been to the Bahamas before. Have you been to the Bahamas before, dad? He has been to the Bahamas before. Ah. All right, we're going to me. We, oh, well, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. This is our review for 2.10. Our objectives is that with this exam, we're showing um, command of the uh, Spanish language, at least what you've learned so far, and related culture, um, answering questions related to school, school subjects, time, definite and indefinite articles, numbers, the calendar, age, after school activities, and schedules. Okay, also, um, you know, it's the same thing. Okay, they said the same thing twice, I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait that for even a second time. These are the Florida State Standards for the 2.10 exam. And now we're going to go over some of these links here, okay? So the 2.10 exam oops, is mostly about Module 2, but we do incorporate things you learned in Module 1. Well, why does it keep looking like this? So if I click on the Module 1 hippo here, this, of course, <laughs> is in your DBA review materials, which I'll show you that separately. But um, module one hippo, we go over um, vocab, you know, greetings, uh, countries and capitals, pronunciation. Uh, I will say, you know, the letter Y, a lot of you keep saying Y, it's pronounced E for and, just so that you know. Some basic conversation, colors and, and, and adjectives. And false confidence. The module two hippo. 
is uh, all about your definite articles mean the or those, el, la, los, las. Your indefinite articles, un, una, unos, unas means a or some. Okay. Telling time, remember that's mostly in lesson 2.3, but we are definitely going over that uh, in the 2.10 exam. Question words, maybe you forgot your question words. So this is a nice little list here of what they are and what they mean. Remember all question words, have you noticed uh, they have an accent on them? So that's, that's something to keep in mind. Plural, have a um, things plural. If it's a vowel, add S at the end. If it's a consonant, add ES. And if it ends with the letter Z, take off the Z and put CES. Using blue star. Uh, I see a lot of people on the 2.8 quiz were having trouble with blue star. So me gusta means I like. We don't say me gusta or me gusta or, you know, things like that. We use me gusta, I like. Um, and if I don't like something, I'd say no me gusta, which is down here, okay? So this is all here for you. Uh, Las classes, and if you feel like you need to redo a quiz or something, you know, review this. Las classes, uh, the type of subjects, these are different vocab words, which could end up on your test. More verbs, which are activities, and how to conjugate the verbs. The months of the year, days of the week. Remember, we don't capitalize our months and our days. Ordinal numbers, like first, second, third, et cetera. We go through seven here. So lots of things. And here's, here's something that's useful. La clase empieza a las. The class begins at. Or la clase termina a las. This might happen in one of your voice activities. Hint, hint, hint. Okay. Um, I want to show. Let's see, go back here to I want to show you where I found these. I, I had the links on my um, slide show, but if you go here to VBA review materials, this is where we find the HIPAA review sheets for module one and module two. Okay, so just so that you know that. Spanish resources. This link, this link you would find right here, Spanish grammar resources. Okay, so in my PowerPoint, I click on Spanish resources. They've got lots of stuff. This always goes, puts me down. Okay, not everything in this is something that will relate to your class, what you've learned. Some of this book is more with the intermediate class. We have things like how to make accents and symbols using study Spanish, this link here, type it. Um, that's, you know, these are different ways. You can also use the um, international keyboard, which is something that I have used on my Windows computer for work. Right now I use an Apple computer and the directions for that are down here. You just click on option and then the letter E, and then that puts an accent, and then you type the letter you wanted to have the accent. It's pretty easy. Pronunciation. So our vowels are A, A, E, O, U, and our consonants, you can see the letter C could be a cut sound or a or a soft sound like, like Sierra Phil. Okay. Um, all right. G is is a uh, hot like a like a hand or g like good. H the letter H is silent. J you know anyway you guys can go over this. I'm just going to go on subject pronouns. You have to know your subject pronouns to be able to conjugate your verbs. So here they are. Okay, this talks about gender of nouns. These are all things that you guys have learned so far. Adjective agreement. Your adjective has to be masculine, feminine, plural, or singular, depending on the noun that's described. Gender of adjective, I just said that. Special adjectives that end in the letter E. So those can be masculine or feminine. To be plural, you just add the letter S. Writing the date. In Spanish, the 
day comes before the month. So today is December 9th. So I'd say, hoy es el 9 de diciembre. And if I want to add the year, I'd say, de 2022. Almost to the end of 2020. Telling time. There's more stuff about that, more about telling time, more about telling time. Definite and indefinite articles. Uh, or definite and indefinite articles, you know, just lots of stuff. Question words, how to say for in Spanish or in Bada. Ser versus a star. You guys need to know this one, right? When to use them. More about the verb ser and a star. Lots of information. The verb tener as well. So lots of stuff. I'm not going to go through it all. All right. And let's just review. You'll find that right here on the rug on the announcement page. Another thing on my announcement page is quick help guide. So if we go back to my presentation here, if I click on quick help, this is very useful. Have you, have you guys been using this at all? Because uh, it's been here this whole time. It's right here, quick help guide on my announcement page, okay? So for the quick help guide, okay, let's say we're, well, we're in module two, okay? We've got guided notes for all the different things, which I give you guided notes by module, but you can do them here by lesson, some tutorials, flashcards have been made for you that helps you with your vocab, all different things, okay? Another one is the module two exam review sheet, which uh, that one, I don't know where I found this, but I put it up. Oh, right here. <laughs> sorry. Uh, so right here, underlined module two. Ex oh, sorry, sorry, that's the cap. <laughs> module two exam review sheet. You guys see that link? Okay, and then this is. Here you go. This is the module to exam review sheet, what it looks like. I'm going to make it bigger for you. Okay. So we've got masculine and feminine, the definite articles, indefinite articles, telling time, question. A lot of this is from the module to exam review. You may see it looks very good for me. Okay. So very familiar. And um, all right, and now is the exam. So to help us review, we're gonna do something too. This, um, oh, good, Finnegan. Can you turn on your camera, Finnegan? That would help. And let's see here. Sorry, my cat, if things go flippy flippy, it's because the cat stepped on the keyboard. Okay, she's gonna take a nap. So we're gonna do a little review here of Kahoot and we're gonna start with service versus the star. We're gonna just, just gonna start button here. And then we've got, we're gonna go over our regular verbs, telling time and, and do star versus anchor thought, okay? So I'd like to see you all participate. There's 20 questions on this one. I think this is, well, it's gonna be a lot. All right, so this is gonna give you a, Join code here in just a moment. So all four of you should log in. You can log in on your computer or you can log in on your phone. It's like the hoot if you've got the app. Okay, Monica is there, Xavier and Angelina, okay, Finnegan, you're in, okay, Xavier and Angelina, you come in, Xavier, see so you, Angelina, any troubles logging in? So you can go to kahoot.it 
to open up a new tab and log in, or you can use the app. Okay, great. We're going to start. You guys hear the funky music in the background? Yeah, I hear it now, kind of a little bit. Okay, here we go. So you pick the right answer here. We have soy or a soy, which one works here? Veritable means sick. Okay, the right answer is a soy because it's temporary. Hopefully it's not a permanent condition that you'd be sick. It's soy and temporary. All right, Angelina got it that time. Okay. Soy or a soy, which one is it? Yes, soy. Your soy alto because that is a you're describing yourself. Okay. Tu blank in la escuela. Is it eres or estás? Yeah, the, the answer is estás because it's a location. Tu estás en la escuela. Ellos blank mexicanos. Is it son or están? The answer is sown because we're giving their nationality. One blank police. Es or esta? The answer is esta police because he's happy, but it, it's a temporary condition because he might be sad the next day. Este pescado blank delicioso, is it S or esta? Correct the answer is S because we're describing the fish. We're saying it's delicious. Hopefully it's always delicious. Donde blank Juan? S or esta? Correct the answer is Está, donde está Juan? We're asking about his location. De donde they blank to? Eres or estás? Correct. The answer is Eres. De donde Eres to? Where are you from? Nosotros blank tristes. Somos or estamos? Oh, look at the puppy. Estamos. Estoy brincando porque blank feliz. Brincando is laughing. Soy or estoy? Estoy. I am happy, but it's it, it's feelings. So we use a star. Vosotros blank cansados. Is it soy or estáis? Remember, vosotros is used only in Spain. It's nice because it's a condition. It's temporary. You're tired. Que hora blank. Would we use S or esta? S. Que hora S. 
that we use Sarah for killing time. Quien blank el presidente de Panama es o está? The answer is S. We're saying who is the president? Quasi permanent position. Nosotros blank bajos. Somos or estamos? <coughs> Somos. We're describing ourselves. La banana blank negra. Es or está? Correct answer is esta because bananas are usually yellow. Okay, this is a tricky one. When it's black, it's pretty much you gotta check it. Ellos blank mis amigos, son or están? Son, they are my friends. Juan Blink, muy guapo. Yes or está? Yes, we're describing him. He's very handsome. Juliana Blink, hermosa. Yes or está? Yes, although that picture, you know, you wouldn't say it, but. Yes, she's beautiful. We're describing her. Right? Mis jeans blank azules. Son or están? Son. My jeans are blue. We're describing the jeans. One more question. Blank las nueve y media de la noche. Okay, we've got four options. S, plus nueve, S, son, está, or está. The answer is son, las nueve y media. Remember we use Sarah for telling time. Here we go. Third place is Finnegan. Second place, Xavier. First place is Nikki, Monica, very good, very good. Okay, let's go on to the next one. You guys uh, are, should be able to see this. Let me see if it's going to let us do that. All right? Okay, next. Maybe not. It might may give us a new code. Yeah, it's going to give a new code. Okay, we're going over verb conjugation, so... Put in your new code for Kahoot. Okay, we got Annika in there. Then again, Angelina, Xavier, we're waiting on you. Are you having trouble logging in? There you are. Okay, let's get started on this. Okay, so verb conjugation in the present tense. Mike y yo blank pizza los fines de semana. So we've got to use comprar. Is it compro, compra, compras, or compramos? Which one is it? The answer is compramos because Mike y yo is the nosotros form. Compramos. So let's see who got this one. Then again, very good. Then again. All right. 217. Los chicos blank la computadora. Uh, so is it uso, usamos, usa, or usan? Which one is it? It is usan. We're using los chicos is like ellos. All right. Next one. 
Yo blank los dibujos animados los sábados por la mañana. So is it miro, mira, miras, or miramos? Yo form. Sorry about the dogs. It's the next door neighbor. Dogs. Screechy, screechy. All right. The answer is miro. Yo miro. Remember, yo ends with o. Take out the ar, add the letter o, miro. You got that. You got Mickey. All right. Mis padres blank mucho en su trabajo. Is it trabajas, trabajamos, trabaja, or trabajan? It is trabajan. Mis padres is like ellos. They work. So we got, Finnegan got it again. Mary y yo blank en la ciudad de Chino. Chino is a city in California. Vive, vivimos, vives, or viven. Angelina, don't cut yourself. You put those scissors down. <laughs> Make me nervous. Okay, so the answer is vivimos. Mary y yo is the nosotros form. Vivimos. We've got Mickey. All right. Mike, blank mucho en la clase de español. Is it aprende, aprendes, aprendo, aprende? Hint, we're asking Mike himself. Okay. The answer is aprendes because when you're talking to someone directly and you're using their first name, it's the two form. Okay. So nobody got it that time. Sara, la, Lisa, y yo, blank galletas durante el almuerzo. Is it comparten, compartes, compartimos, or comparto? All right, the answer is compartimos. And I see someone got it. Remember when you've got a name or names, be, and then yo and I, that's nosotros form. Okay, compartimos. So that was spin again, very good. Cada verano, los chicos blank en la playa. Is it nado, nada, nadamos, nadas? It is nadan. They swim. Ellos form. Después de clases, yo blank libros en la biblioteca. Is it leo, lees, leemos, or leo? Remember, this is the yo form of layer. The answer is layo. Very good. Okay. Me gusta blank y un poco mis amigos. Is it paso, pasa, pasas, or pasar? It comes after me gusta. The answer is pasar. When you have me gusta, the verb that follows has to be in the infinitive form. So anytime you have two verbs side by side, the first one is conjugated, the second one is left as an infinitive. El equipo de fútbol blank después de clases is it practicar, practica, practicamos, o practica. It is practica because a people is a collective noun. You know, it's a group of people, but it's one word, a singular word representing a group of people. Practica. So I see two of you got this. Good. All right. In the class of English, los estudiantes blank muchos cuentos. Is it escribo? Escriben, escribimos, escribes. Remember, we're talking about the students doing the writing. It is a scribin. Okay, good. Cada invierno el señor Tapia blank in Mammoth Mountain. That's where I learned to ski. Esquio, esquia, esquias, esquiar. 
It's a sphere. Please, please. Sabrina, es muy talentosa porque blank, muy bonito. Corre, canta, lee, camina. We know it's the verb cantar. The answer is canta. Okay. okay. Los chicos nunca blank with a letter on clase. Hablamos, hablan, hablas, hablar. Hablan, they never talked on the phone in class. I wish that was the case. Well, you guys don't have a problem with that. Dice yo, blank American Idol, cada semana. Veo, veis, ve, vemos. American Idol's not even a thing now. It is vemos. We, that we see that. Very good. Last question. Joey? Two blank libros de Harry Potter, not Potter. <laughs> Leo, le, les, or Lynn. Someone who made this was in a hurry. The answer is les, the two form. Xavier third, Finnegan second. And I don't got first place. Very good. All right. Next one. Next one is going to be telling time in Spanish. I'm going to give you a new code here in just a moment. And again, and Nikki are in. Angelina and Xavier, you're very good. I want to get this started. This is all about telling time. So, la cinco menos cinco. Which time is it? So la cinco menos cinco. Okay, so so la cinco, it's five minus five minutes. So it's 455, it means it's almost five, right? Very good, thank you. Son las siete menos diez. Son las siete menos diez. The answer is 650 because siete menos diez would be it's almost seven, seven minus 10 minutes. Excuse me. Es la una y cincuenta y cinco. Es la una y cincuenta y cinco. Okay, there's no menos in here. So we know it's one o'clock and 55 minutes. So it's 155. All right. Morning means what? Tarde, noche, mañana, or medio día. What's the word for morning? Hope you all get this one. Mañana is the morning. De la tarde means what? In the afternoon, in the morning, at noon, caramelos. The first one in the afternoon. Don't give up. 
In Spanish, noon means what? Medianoche, mediosia, mediodia, or mañana. Careful, they find a tricky one in here. It is mediodia. A good Angelina. Son las ocho y cuarto. Son las ocho y cuarto. Eight fifteen. Very good. No, well, well, lots of good. I guess nobody got it. Someone's not playing though. Let me maybe put in answers. Es media noche. What does that mean? Noon, midnight, are they or medio dia? What does media noche mean? Correct answer is midnight. It's midnight. Son las tres de la mañana. Son las tres de la mañana. Which time is it? Three a.m. Guys, de la mañana. Remember that's morning. All right. Que hora es? What day is it? What is today's date? What time is it? Where are you? What's it asking? What time is it? Yes, you all got it. Son las dos. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I can't say it out or I'll give you the answer. The answer is the last one. Son las dos y media de la tarde. Son las diez para las doce. Son las diez para las doce. This is a tricky one. Yeah, the answer is 11.50. So it's son las diez. Here, here it is. It is 10 until 12. So 11.50. This is one that we haven't learned. So someone just threw this in there. If you did well, fantastic. Okay, es la una y veinticinco de la tarde. Es la una y veinticinco de la tarde. One twenty-five p.m. La clase es a las cinco y treinta de la tarde. It's at 5.30 in the afternoon. Yeah, no, nobody, nobody got this one. Hmm. A que hora es la clase? A que hora es la clase? At what time is the class? And you all got it. ¿Quién tiene la hora? It's missing its upside down question mark. ¿Quién tiene la hora? Who has the time? Very good. En la mañana, el profesor tiene clase de matemáticas. In the morning, the teacher is math class. Very good. Son las nueve menos veinticinco de la noche. Son las nueve menos veinticinco de la noche. This is tricky. It's 8.35. Like it's almost nine. It's 25 minutes to five. Yeah, I know, Xavier. It was a tough one. Son and a star mean what? 
What do they both mean? They both mean to be. They don't mean to have. Tener means to have. Sierra and Star both mean to be. Last question. Son cinco para las tres. Son cinco para las tres. Two fifty-five is the correct answer because it's five minutes until three. Now we've got third place Xavier. Second place is Angelina. First place is Monica. All right, very good, guys. One more of these cahoots is what we have left. This is Gustar versus Income Star. After this will be done, it's coming up with a new code for you. The reason my cat's not getting in the way is she's taking a nap. You okay. must be happy. Yeah. Yeah, she she's nuts other most of the time. Got her little rabies shot yesterday and it's been pretty good though. All right. Star versus income star. Okay, what does Gustar mean? You should all get this one. Gustar means to like. It doesn't mean to play, it means to like. Gugar means to play. Encantar, what does encantar mean? Encantar means to love because it's more than to like, it's to love something. Okay, Gusta versus Gusta. Nani me blank las naranjas. Is it Gusta or Gusta? <laughs> okay, so the answer is Gusta because naranjas is plural. Remember, Using, we use gusto with something that's singular and gustan with something that's plural. Okay, Xavier, nodding in agreement. Okay, ahí ya le blank el color morado. Gusta o gustan? Gusta, because color is a singular word. A nosotros nos blank la clase de matemáticas. Is it gusta or gusta? It is gusta because clase is a singular word. A ustedes les blank los videos de TikTok. Gusta or gusta? All right, the answer is gustan because los videos is a plural word. A él le blank el color gris. Gusta o gustan? It is gusta because color is a singular word. Come on, guys, you should all be getting 100% on this. 
A mí me blank la pizza. Is it gustar, gustan, gusta, or what? A mí me blank la pizza. Does it mean eat? What? Say here? That does it mean eat? Uh, well, no, we're talking about, you know, look at the options here. The answer is gusta because we're talking about gustar versus encantar. Okay, so in this case, I like the pizza. Gusta because pizza is singular. Me gusta mucho. What does that mean? Don't like it, like it better, don't like it at all, like it a lot. It is like it a lot. I like it. So we all got that. No me gusta para nada. Don't like it, like it better, don't like it at all, like it a lot. It is, I don't like it at all. No me gusta para nada. True or false? A ti te gusta cahoots? This means do you like? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm glad you all like it. I have worried you didn't. All right. A él le gusta la música. So bad. I like music. I don't like music. He likes music. He does not like music. A él le gusta la música. He likes music. A él le blank los chocolates. Gustar, gustan, gusta, or I don't know. I know the answer. It's, it's square. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't tell the answer. <laughs> Unless you want to give everybody else a chance to win before you. Square. The answer is gustan. Okay. And that's because chocolate is plural. A ellos blank gusta en sushi. Is it me, lace, te, or nos? So what, what goes before gusta? The answer is lace. Before, no when we have a yes, we use lace new stuff. They like. A me blank new stand baseball. Is it os, te, me, or nos? It is may. You all got that. Very good. I'd be worried if you didn't at this point. We've used it before. A nosotros blank gusta McDonald's. May, lay, lace, or nose? The answer is nose. Because this is your, your hint. A nosotros nos gusta McDonald's. A usted blank gusta el cereal. May, lay, lace, or nose. Well, the answer is lay, right. Usted le gusta. A mi amigo blank gusta el chocolate. Is it lay, te, me, or nos?
Okay, it is late. He likes chocolate. A mis amigos, blank gusta el baloncesto. Is it may, te, lace, or nose? The answer is lace, because we're talking about they like basketball. A ustedes no les gusta Burger King. You all like Burger King. Who likes Burger King? You all love Burger King. You all don't like Burger King. The answer is you all don't like Burger King. A Carlos le blank los deportes. Is it gustan, gustar, gustar, or encantar? Yeah, the answer is Gustan. He like because we use Gustan because the portes is a, a plural word. A uh, ella no le gusta el color azul. She doesn't like the color blue. I don't like the color blue. She loves the color blue, or they like the color blue. She doesn't like the color blue. A vosotros no os gusta leer. You all like to read. You all don't like to read. We love to read. We don't like to read. And the answer is you all don't like to read. Vosotros means all of you, but it's familiar. True or false? A mí no me gusta el color amarillo. Is that done correctly? Have they written that out correctly? A mí no me gusta el color amarillo. It's false, right. It should be a mí no me gusta el color amarillo. True or false? A ti te encanta escribir. Is this written out correctly? True or false? A ti te encanta escribir? It is true. It is done correctly. You all got that right. Very good. So third place, we have Angelina. Second place, we have Xavier. And first place, we have... Oh my God, very good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out of the food. Next, sorry, issue. Okay, let's go back to our presentation. So you have the test. If I have given you the password for the 2.10 exam, you know, check your emails. But if I've given you the password for the 2.10 exam, I encourage you to go ahead and take it unless your grade is lower than you want. If you want to resubmit stuff before you take the test, then you have until um, Wednesday to take to resubmit stuff, Wednesday next week. And then the um, test has to be done no later than Thursday the 15th. If you want to get this test done over quickly and I've given you the password, then get it done. Any questions? All right, I will let you guys go. You have a great week. All right, bye-bye.